And the Democratic National Convention did wrap up just a few hours ago in Philly. CBS in North Carolina National Correspondent Mark Meredith is live in Philly. He has been forced for two weeks now, and that cleanup already well underway behind you, Mark. It looks like there's hardly anything left. <laughs> It's, it's almost hard to believe what they could do in just a few hours' time. They actually had us in between getting a broom out and trying to sweep up what they can. But it's been interesting, though, because this campaign is going to go go long after we get all this cleaned up. It is a mess still down here, though. Uh, good morning, guys. It was a, a speech for the history books last night, as we did hear Hillary Clinton talk about several themes last night. She talked about trying to appeal to a wider base. She realizes she's already well-known across the country. She's no stranger to public life, but they wanted to uh, kind of redefine her image to people that may have been watching or giving her a second look. These are uh, just a quick clip of what she had to say last night. I will be a president for Democrats, Republicans, independents, for the struggling, the striving, the successful, for all those who vote for me and for those who don't. We also heard Clinton hit on several different themes last night, specifically about equality and trying to change the role uh, of necessarily how people will view their government and optimism for the future. This was also a big contrast to what we saw just a week ago in Cleveland, where Clinton really didn't want to hit up and beat up on the Republican Party as much as she did on Donald Trump. She certainly took Trump to task, uh, calling him a bully and a bigot, and it was that uh, counterpunch that we've been waiting to see what she would say, would she even mention his name, but boy, did she. She, she went after him pretty hard last night, similar to what he did to her in Cleveland just a week ago. Also, though, while we talked about the contrast, when you compare the two speeches, both were fairly light on specifics. While Clinton did talk about how she would like to see a much brighter day in America, she wasn't able to give a lot of specifics on how she would be able to bring middle-class jobs back to the U.S. or in terms of trying to level the playing field between Wall Street and Main Street. There was talk of it, but how it would get done, we didn't hear that. But uh, Russ and Stefan, that may be because the Debates will be here in September, so maybe yeah. she's just trying to save a little ammunition for that. And that's when the fireworks will fly for sure. Okay, so Mark, you've been on the ground now for both conventions. Now that they're wrapped up, what kind of long-term impact will we see after the events in Cleveland and now in Philadelphia? I think what's going to be... Yeah. I think it's the most interesting thing is the themes now for the rest of the campaign. Nobody's going to remember the speeches uh, pretty much past the next 48 hours. People have other things on their mind. But the themes that were established in Cleveland and Philadelphia here, it was about equality, about women's rights, and uh, basically a, a brighter future for America. Whereas the Donald Trump's and the Cleveland Convention, it was focused on America in crisis and how law and order is needs to be restored after what we've seen, these ISIS-inspired attacks in Orlando and San Bernardino. So those two central themes or what's going to play out, guys, for the next couple of months, no matter after all the balloons and confetti's cleaned up. Now you can get some rest, too, Mark, because we know you've been hard at work. <laughs> Thanks, Mark, so much.